Hello and welcome to Blackout Gaming TV. With me today is CJ and we're doing an STV cast. Oh, so this isn't being streamed live, but we do have a couple of teams here. We got SMG, Sick Marmalade Grandpa in the blue. And we got DC on the other team. And that was, what was their name? That was, uh, let's see, yeah, Divide and Conquer. Just want to make sure that was correct. That was, of course, the finalists of this league. And uh, we uh, don't have outlines or anything like that because everything is broken. Anyway, we have a mid-fight going on here. Yeah, it's not much ground being taken by either team right now. Like, there's nobody standing on the point. The only thing around the midpoint is is a mini sentry, and that's just been destroyed. It seems they're just the teams seem a little bit scared to to make the first move. Yeah, both Nobody teams are also died. on crit screen, mind you. So I guess uh, it's like afraid to throw the first stone here. Let's oh, see. the oh. crits has been used on point now by DC, and the heavy is just trying to clean up those laser beams. Do take out Pipsqueak, who is the medic for SMG. Yeah, so far neither has capped yet, but a nice uh, headshot there from Evil Witch, which is a girl, by the way. I've been heavily informed to spread that. It's doing pretty well on Sniper, has been getting a lot of kills, and that was almost a wipe there for uh, DC. Yeah, that was that really didn't turn out well for them. They didn't make the first move, and I suppose that's what they were worried about, is making the first move and then kind of not taking the initiative with that crits. I'm watching Enigmas, we've seen him do wonders with the Beggar's Bazooka before. Oh, Pipsweek though! Pipsweek gets headshot by Ethan, uh, that's the medic down for SMG, and they've taken the point, they had a massive advantage, and Ethan's getting another kill now on the NG, and um, that's going to hand uh, Uber advantage, which is of course the crits, to Nomad. So DC are going to have a nice, healthy crits advantage, and uh, moving on to the point now. Yeah, although uh, crits advantage isn't always that much to be relied upon, really, because you can easily get focused fire down by snipers and other classes like that. Already see Enigmas in the front here, putting on some pressure. He also used the Conjurer. But isn't, is, are they going to be able to stop this cap? It doesn't look like it. However, DC wasn't really on the point for that long. Okay, here comes Enigmas. He's going in for a bomb. Can't really get it. It's using that Beggar's Bazooka, which is a really interesting weapon to use on this map. If you can use it right and just bomb in, um, it's going to be really hard for the medic to stay alive. And he's taking down sentries, he's blocking that point. That point still has not been capped by DC. And um, SMG oh, got lot, lots of response now. Coming in. Oh, gets rainy. That's the heavy. Didn't get the medic though, Pipsqueak stays alive. No, yeah. and their medic went down in the process. Yeah. So, so that was a really, really bad crit. Yeah, it didn't get the, what they wanted to get there. I mean, as long as you can suicide and get the medic with Chris Craig, you're kind of in the lead. But yeah, not getting Pipsqueak, and now he has a full Uber as well. And they're holding the point, so they're looking very stable right now. Yeah, coming up to 1 minute 30. So that's like half the time taken off by SMG. And um, DC haven't even cut the point yet, but it's looking like they will now. They've got a lot of reinforcements on the point. Oh, but Uber's used! And SMG have blocked the point, and it's just, wow. Soloing on Tippy the demo. That's up. really well played, and the pot cap still has not been taken by DC. And they're going to start panicking now. It's coming up to a minute left for SMG before they win this round. Yeah, they and um, there's no cap time for them. Finally, they capture the point there. Well, let's see how long it stays capped, because that's always the thing with dominant teams in the openings of the Highlanders. That the, even though you cap it, it gets recapped pretty quickly, but it does seem like they've gotten a number advantage. I mean, the Heavy and the Demo, as well as the Pyro, is down. For the blue team, that is SMG, of course, and looks like DC will be able to hold on for this point for at least, point for at least a bit longer. Enigmus uh, jumped in, the soldier jumped in, took down the medic with that beggar's bazooka, and obviously when you own the point in King of the Hill, it takes even longer for your team to respawn. So that's going to be a nice long spawn time for uh, the red medic, um, giving blue team a nice advantage again. And that crits is at 90%. Oh, it's not, sorry, crits, it's medigun. Yeah, really um, medigun. So they've no recapped, and they're going to be able to block that point. Nomad hasn't really been that aggressive, or I guess he's been aggressive, but he hasn't really been all that successful with the Crits Creek. They haven't really gotten the kills they've wanted, and most of the times he has been dying in the process. So, oh, um, Tippy goes down though, headshot from Ethan. Tippy's been a big player so far for SMG, the demo, and um, it's going to be interesting how it's going to stop them blocking that point. They're looking to back off. Haven't got that spam from the demo. I'm also watching Evil Watch here. Oh, Enigmas! Evil Witch. Oh, Whoa. my word! The double kill from the Beggar's Bazooka at long range takes down two players. Oh, this boy just won't stop. Doing really well on Soldier right now. And the crits has come out from DC. Oh, and he drops! Pipsqueak drops! Pipsqueak drops! Nomad does get taken out by the body shot, but wow. Wow, it's all going on, GPS. Yeah, I was going to say Evil Watch, but it's actually Evil Witch. I don't know, sir, why I got that wrong. But yeah, that was pretty amazing. 
nice uh, frags there, and uh, they're going to be able to recap uh, despite uh, losing their medic and their uh, their other class like that. Yeah, who need the medic for SMG survived after all that pipsqueak, going back to spawn and meeting up with his team. But they've got some respawns now, and they look like they're pushing out to point. But if they do cap this point, that's a uh, round over for SMG, um, and it'll be one point to them. Yeah. Tippy took out Swine, who's kind of overextending with the black box there. Ethan with the body shot on the engineer. I'm also watching Enigma here. He's going to try and go through this uh, pool area, but that's really hard with the Beggar's Bazooka, especially when a scout's uh, denying it. But it looks like the scout, the Dias here, running the force of nature of all uh, unlocks here, gets taken out by Joppy, who has been assisting his soldier friend pretty well. And now, uh, oh. Oh. Uh, Enigma's. Oh, he's actually going down to the spawn there. And am I seeing that right? Is it overtime for. Yes, it is. It is overtime. And yeah, I'm watching yeah. Enigma's as well, and he's right outside the spawn. No one's no one's watching the flank, and he's, you know, his team doesn't even have the point, and this is going to be interesting to see if he gets a pick here. They also use a crit screen, and they got absolutely nothing with it. I'm just watching Ethan shoot a dispenser and evil, which is just watching the point. And uh, yeah, nothing really going on there. Uber coming in, scratched that. A lot of going on. Uber coming in here with Tippy in the front, getting some nice damage done with those sticks. They also got the spy in that combination as well is going to towards the mech. Oh, nice backstab and lots of players going down for SMG. Yeah, they Ubered in, but the cleanup came in from DC and that was really well played there. Spy and the scout all combining to try and take down a few players. Some Beggar's Bazooka rockets coming in here. Enigma's doing a lot of work there. Is the medic going to be able to get away? He can't really do that because... Oh, the crits oh, creep! Oh, and then Rocket Launcher takes down Nomad. It's just a soldier left here, and an engineer, and some other guys. And yeah, it looks like this is going to be the cap in the first round going to SMG. It's kind of a Enigmas weird round. Is, uh, top scoring now. I'm going to watch Tippy to mid. He seems to be getting most of the Ubers, um, getting a lot of heals, and seems to be doing most of the work for his team. And now we have a pause. And the pause is over. Wow, that was a quick one, wasn't it? CJ. So quick. Didn't even notice it. Yeah. So I'm watching Tippy, as you said, it's gonna be jumping up to the middle point here. Gets there first, way ahead of the other demo, but then again, the other demo has more health. Tippy very weak here. Oh, down in the tens of health. But he gets the healing and he is in a good shape. Looking at this middle yeah. engagement, you see the spy is uh battling the sky. Oh, nice little flank group here. Already the flank has fallen for DC here as the scout and soldier kind of just ran by there. They're assisted by their engineer too, so they are going to be able to do a lot of bullying from that side. And yeah, that beggar's bazooka rockets uh, really keeping the medic confined to that little space on the right side there. DC have got the crits. They're in a really awkward position. They've used the crits on the heavy. Laser beams coming out, um, but I'm not sure if they're going to be. Oh, an enigma jumps in. Yeah, and takes also, uh, down shot from everyone. Evil yeah, they're just. Th the combo was just too clustered behind the point. Like you said, the flank for SMG had just pushed up really far up. Um, they should have got out there and used the crits at the right moment. Um, and yeah, kind of mid-fight just goes quite easily there for SMG in the end. Watching Swine here just barely surviving inside this uh, pool area. Both snipers and other classes were watching him. But he DC do have uh, control of the lake room, which is very key for your flank. They've got the NG, they've got the soldier. Um, the pyro was in there and he's now on the point trying to cap. Oh, pyro on pyro action here. DC look like they're going to pressure this point. Yeah, it looks like DC is going to be able to retake this point without too much effort. So it's a significant uh, improvement from last round. Still, uh, Nomad is running that uh, Kritzkrieg and will have that advantage, just needs to keep their heavy alive. But Evil Witch is on the point, and, or on the side rather, watching the point, uh, which he has been all game. Not really been all that contested. I would like to see the Assassin class, namely the Assassin, use uh, go over there and yeah, nope, he's not. Oh, Crits comes out, for Jellyfish takes down a lot of players, including Pipsqueak, but and which is the, uh, the Medic. In the process. That's like the problem running uh, Kritzkrieg is that like you... You get a good position and suddenly you walk over a trap or you get stabbed or shot or something and then it just was for nothing. It's not as reliable. And I think yeah, like I mean, when you're on the other team and you see a crits coming towards you, the best thing to do is move forward. Because yeah. nine times out of ten it's going to be on the demo and the demo is going to be aiming like really far ahead yeah. and he's not going to shoot at his feet. So if you just get in the medic's face, you're going to take him down quite often. So yeah, yeah. It's easier to just run forward and kill him than it is to run away from him. So let's see here. Oh. They are uh, on the point here. I'm watching Joppy. He has a lot of overheal. He could go in there and get something done. Once to get rid of that pyro, he does. 
And he's gonna go around the side here, and oh, well, there's a mini sentry up, so that means no fun for him. And yeah, Enigmas gets bullied out of there as well, They're gonna go back to their own dispenser. They are holding the point, though, they don't necessarily need to push behind here, and they also have an uber advantage. Uh, I think TC are gonna try and take it back here. Um, they've got the player advantage, they've got the height advantage. Great play by the scout, just pressuring into the combo there, distracting them, and the ubers come out now from SMG, and it looks like they're gonna... Oh, but great work by the pyro. Yeah, now, uh, the medic needs to survive here, but nobody's being pressured, he's being bullied and taken out by a fat schmuck. Not the heavy, of course, that is the spy. It's a nice revolver action there, and yeah, whatever advantage they had is gone, and now Peepsqueak, you know, he stayed alive during that encounter, so they're gonna have an uber advantage regardless. See what kind of Medigan Nomad decides to use. Yeah, still on the Kritzkrieg, which hasn't been all that effective this game. It's been effective in taking out one or two players, yeah. but, you know, even if you take out the, the opposing team's medic, you need to take out a lot more players if you're going to be risking your own medic. And, uh, yeah, like you said, it's not really been working. Jellyfish has got some nice critical sickies, but um, hasn't really had the, the follow-up from his team and the backup. Yeah, 60 seconds left on the clock here. They have the Heavy in the front, but a Heavy versus a Demo in this situation is not really good for the Heavy, because this, is, this kind of territory is very good for Demo Man, indeed. And uh, yeah, some pressure being applied here. Really want to see DC just get a bit, a bit more ballsy. Just get onto the point, get their players up there. Yeah. Seems as soon as somebody else comes up to try and defend, they're backing oh. off. And the Uber's coming on, it's on the scout! He's gonna try and get into the face of the Medic. He's chasing! Oh, out with the pistol, he's in the air. Gets oh, taken gets him out. down, but the Chris Creek. Oh, and Enigmas! So close! And a fat schmuck once again, you know, that revolver from the spy, they're picking off that weakened medic. Just where you need to be at the right time. Some good as spy sense there, actually. But it was all kind of in vain there because everyone else uh, around his team died. Yeah. Including Pips Creek on the other team, so they've they've got this point and they've got a, a you know, minute 20 odd to catch up to overtake the enemy team, but. They're looking in fairly good shape. They just need to kind of take that high ground and not be too scared. Yeah, they need to get comfortable taking damage, you know, like how much can I take before I go down and can I do more damage than my opponents do to me? So is he rainy here? He just actually just walks onto the point. He like he is Yeah, that's what I like to see. And he's taking damage, but he doesn't care. He's got his medic with him, he's got his pirate with him, he's got his demo with him, and now they're just gonna take this point for essentially for free. And you know, the players that do try to defend it from DC are getting punished. The pirate running on there and just getting taken out. And now they have the point, and they're going to be able to back off, heal up, and just just hold it. Yeah. So we see, like, uh, we can see the heavy, the G man. He's like, he could potentially just walk on the point. Uh, he is now, but very late. And now they have an Uber as well. He's ordered by the board of the Pyro in the front. It's kind of like been more and more standard lately. Like you Uber a Pyro in first, and then you switch around afterwards. And yeah, SMG taking the second round. Uh, not as Looking quite comfortable as they did the first round. No, but they, they're looking in control. I, I would say they're comfortable, you know, they're not looking too worried. I think one of the best players on um, on DC that I'm looking at at the moment is their sniper, Ethan. He's getting a lot of good picks, but from what I've seen, Evil Witch on the other team is kind of taking him down a lot, and when he's down, he can't get kills. So the rest of his team kind of need to be a bit more ballsy, get onto that point, you know, kind of pressure the enemy combo. Jellyfish gets taken out very early, no demo for DC, and they're going to struggle, although Tippy does get taken down in response. Yeah, so no demo for either team there. Backside going on for a fat schmuck taking out the NG and the dispenser, and he's looking for the medic, but he has been spotted by the scout Diaz. He's looking to stop him there. Let's see what he does. Brings out the bat and takes him out. Just kidding, because he's dead ringing. Those sneaky spies. Yeah, sneaky, sneaky. Evil Witch is just using that machina on his right side, and he took down Ethan really early. Oh, and he's going to get jumped by the soldier. Good serve to get away, and he lands on the... Oh, well played there. Well played there by Evil Witch. And it uh, looks like SMG going to take this point. I'm looking just at Enigmas here. He's top fragging for his team, and he's just going around the side here looking for people to shoot. Lighting a barrage there. And finally, this is the... I think this is the latest cap we've seen, unless the first round was even slower. Yeah, a lot of people died in the mid... kind of the mid-fire, as it's called. Oh, and Nomad's um, also back on regular Medigun, by the way. So he's no oh, so we're going to see how fights. Yeah, so uh, that's something we also see sometimes is that both teams start crits and then just end up going medigun and then never switching unless it's like a desperation quick fix or vaccinator if that's even a thing these days. Both Ubers come out uh, on around the same time. It's gonna last a bit longer. So oh, G-Man's gonna get caught out here. He does gets taken out and no, oh, this has not been good from DC at all. They pushed up on the right side and then just got wrapped around by SMG's combo, and that's 
it's not a wipe, but it's all the heavy classes that are able to do anything. Yeah, and and that's when you just now. look at the time, it's just ticking away. <laughs> Enigmas hunts down the spy, takes him out. Assassin, he dies for real this time. So I'm watching G-Man going out as well, running the Fist of Steel. What is the other heavy? Well, the other heavy is dead too, so... The other team doesn't have a heavy in the fray at the moment, so they could potentially capitalize on this if G-Man decides to go. Other heavy is also running Fist of Steel, but he seems, uh... Seems a bit afraid to just go up there and just do some damage. Oh, the spy! Oh! Oh, so close. Pyro catches him right before he's about to stab, and his knife melts in his hands. And this is what I like to see. They're on the point now. They're on the point. They're like, no, we want to take this point back. We haven't got Uber, but neither of you. So, oh, and the medic gets headshot. That's what I'm talking about. Ethan gets the headshot. He's doing really well for his team. And a little bit of protection from his team. He's doing some work now. Pip squeak down. And um, they can just they can just chill out now on the point. They've got 100% Uber. They need to take the high ground. Yeah, they need to take high ground. Could also take uh, forward ground if they wanted to. I mean, there's not a lot here, so there's no real reason they can't. But they seem to be holding a bit far back here. G-Man is really far behind. Might be looking to get some ammo and then moving forward. Yeah, but you see the blue pirate just basically ran from spawn and just waltz up there onto the point. So on the right-hand side, not much stopping them. They also have a teleporter there. Which is interesting, because yeah. the boxes actually disappear when you're in the air. Interesting. See, Ethan is holding on the point now. He's got protection from his combo, and he's just headshotting took down Tippy. So no demo as they're pushing out. And this is this is it. The rest of the team need to be in this position and um, put some pressure. You know, get your soldier oh, forward, get him pressure in the Oh, Ethan doesn't get the kill. Lands on body shot instead, probably hit the shoulder. Oh yeah, that was really scary. Was the evil witch. Oh, SMG He's are hoping. pushing up on the right-hand side. Ethan gets taken down, and this is going to be interesting. It's going to be Uber versus Uber. Yeah, let's see here. Comes out on top here. Yeah, like, uh, SMG just waltzing up on the point here. Not really afraid of anything. Here comes the red team coming in with a heavy first. Oh, but the sticks from Jellyfish takes down Rainy, the heavy for the blue team. And they keep their own heavy alive there. G-Man getting blasted off the point there. There's a mini sentry firing at him as well. He regroups with this medic and peep squeak went down as well to sticks from jellyfish. So jellyfish are getting some nice uh, sticky kills there. But they're gonna get the cap. SMG. Are, uh, oh, they're gonna get the cap. How? How are they allowed to get the cap after losing so many players? Um, DC really needs to get that aggression. It's this. This map is not just about the DM. They won the DM there. They need to win the the, the control as well. Yeah. You they need do recap to, very quickly. They need to like base their plays around standing on the point and shooting, not standing near the point and shooting. Um, yeah, absolutely. So they, they aren't occupying as much space as they should. So, but uh, SMG seems to be doing so. Like They see like, oh, nobody's here? Okay, we'll just keep moving until we meet somebody. And that's kind of like the mentality you want. Jellyfish here. Oh, he gets some nice roller spam off there, right in the corridor. And, oh! A reflect <laughs> on the disorder by the border. Killed himself, even though he was Jellyfish's kill, I guess. Yeah, a lot of players just bleeding out here for SMG, and this is looking very good for DC at the moment. They're bring, coming up to about 30 oh, okay, seconds left to go. Quick fix. Yeah, it's, it's uh, desperation, desperation times. Yeah. They need to get onto the point. It's only 27 seconds less, uh, left, unless they're able to cap it, of course. We shall see here, Rape Car. Oh, gets a nice uh, uh, flare on the medic there. Forces Pipsqueak down to... Oh, Pipsqueak's actually pretty weak. No, might still just holding that full uber. They can just uber the pyro onto the point and blast anyone off as long as nobody comes and bombs the medic. Oh, this guy comes in! Assassin! He is an assassin. Gets revenge on Pipsqueak, backstabs him, and yeah, that's it. I think that's going to be round for DC. 2-1. Yeah. He was really smart there, just waited and waited and waited, and you know what? You're not invincible unless you're using uber. Yep, so currently 2-1. to one. Jellyfish, top fragging now, taking over the role of... Uh, Enigmas, and there's a, the medics aren't top fragging this game. It's actually the snipers, demos, and soldiers, and actually, actually, rocket launcher too. He's been doing a lot of work. I'm giving him enough credit, but he makes stuff happen as well. Yeah, I mean, 52 points. It's, you know, it's not just about placing minis. It's about taking ground. He, look at him. He's fighting one v one the demo at the moment. Doesn't get taken out, but he's forced the combo back just by being an engineer. Yeah. Great play by him. Oh, and the quick fixes come out from quicks picks the pip squeak. Quick squip. <laughs> Yeah. But yes, they're on the medic, and the medic, oh, he's going to place to dying. Rainy here. Oh, but he survives, and he's got 8% Uber, and that's going to be good to kind of retake the point now. 
you know, with the quick kicks, you kind of have to stay in the fray and keep taking damage if you want to capitalize on that thing. Otherwise, the other team is just going to have more health than you. Oh, I saw someone in the air. Yeah, and that was eventual. Enigmas gets taken out. Didn't get anything done. It looks like the point is going to go to DC. There is a wrangled minion, though. Move there. But that gets cleaned up by uh, the Pyro and Swine, the soldier, who has now taken over the other flank. And Swine might be getting a sniper pick here, along with the scout, Dias. Well, looks like yeah, it's really well, well played that by their flank. They're just controlling, they're working in pairs. Oh, dude, this order by the border reflected Dias with our rocket from Swine. So that was pretty fun. It's always fun when you kill your opponents with their own weapons. <laughs> Both heavies exchange, neither team has a heavy. Looks like blue team has the number advantage. Their medic going down by the pyro, I believe. That was a reflected arrow. Crossbow arrow, I believe. That's yeah, that was an amazing there. shot. Yeah. And disorder by the border, still alive. Battling the spine, does get taken out. But he got a lot of cap time, it's well played by him. Well played by disorder and, you know, half cap, it's gonna prompt his team to try and get some ground. And 100% uber on Nomad. Um, are they going to use this to defend the point? Like a swine just goes around and just picks up a free sniper frag, basically. Uh, they haven't been able to capture it, but they might be rebound bounding after this uber has faded. Oh, but swine's on the medic. Has to reload. Doesn't have all that much clip. And yeah, nice uh, work there by Disorder by the Border. I'd say Disorder by the Border been making some good pirate plays this game. Just uh, helping keep this team alive, not necessarily getting the frags, but doing the work. Yeah, he's sacrificing himself at the right times. Looks like SMG might get the point now. From that, oh, big backstab by Assassin again. Takes down Pipsqueak, that's Medic down. And um, that's going to be in the heels are in favor of DC. They can try and take this point back. The control point is being captured. Yep, so let's see here. I mean, DC, they have the uh, time advantage too, and now they have the respawn advantage as well. So they're actually not that far behind. And now if only G-Man would have stood on the point there, because there's actually nothing there. So I think he's uh, reading the situations a bit wrong. Maybe he just wanted more ammo or something, but yeah, you can stay on the point. But there's the spy on the pillar. He's watching the medic, a fat schmuck. He's going to move in at some point. Yeah, he's uh, sneaking around there. Let's see, he's looking for he's looking for an opening, but the pirate's there and he has to be very careful. He's also using the cloak and dagger, so he can stay cloaked for as long as he likes, as long as it doesn't move. Interesting so choice for Lakeside. Not yeah. something I usually oh, no. used. Oh, he's, he's been spotted. He runs into the pyro and well, the spyro pie, spy checks. And yeah, he's not going to be able to do anything for a while because they know he's around there somewhere. And he's just on the point of waiting for his knife to return, I guess. Yeah, prompts to G-Man, to be fair. He's doing really well in the spy checking. I haven't actually seen him get s stabbed at all. I, he probably has, but I don't know. He gets checking and guarding his medic pretty well, so... Well done to him for being a spy checking heavy, but it's going to be heavy on heavy at the mid right now. Oh, I'm just watching. Uh, where'd he go? There he is. He's been. I've, I've been watching this game. There hasn't really been a lot much going on. Both teams have Uber, and I think. Oh, the Pyro's really close. Oh, well, the Uber's used by SMG really, really early. And um, yeah, DC don't even have to oh. use, and they use on the Pyro oh, he gets eventually. The heavy, though. Being very patient. That's a good pick. Rainy stays alive on his own team, but they lose Tippy, though. So they swatch like one team has the Devil alive, and the other team has a heavy. And that's usually goes in the favor of the demo on this map. Rocket Launcher just setting up his mini and just once again fighting with the demo. Just getting that ground and getting in the faces and they don't want to push up to him. And Enigma big jump! Oh, he doesn't get any of the rockets. He takes down the demo. Oh, and he takes down the medic! Is he going to get any more? No. Nope. That was the end of an assassin. Oh, yeah, he gets knife in his back. That was all he was able to do. But yeah, he did a lot of work there. And now look at this. All, uh... DC has to do is just recap this point. And they win yeah, I mean, round. to go 2 0 down and essentially be sort of map point away from losing, they've come back with a round and they're looking really convincing in this map so far, uh, this round so far, so they just need to cap once. And um, that's it, that's that's 2 2 on the board. Yeah, I think uh, switching away from crits uh, was a better move because they seem a lot more comfortable playing with Uber. They seem to be getting a lot better engagements. Even when they don't come out on top, they seem to be rebounding a lot better than with that crits creep. So I think that yeah. was a wise choice by their medic nomad too. Uber involves more of your more of your teammates, and I think Rape Car and G-Man definitely if oh. they get some Uber with them. Spy almost got the medic there, barely missed them. Apologies for that, a little hiccup in the system, but I think we should be back now. Anyway, what's been going on? Not a whole lot. Yeah, Jellyfish and Ethan get down, and they're two of the, the big players for DC I've seen. And then their Ubers come out on the point, but they haven't got anyone to cap. 
Um, Pyro is around though. We're always going to run into G-Man. G-Man takes out the Pyro immediately. And here comes the Demo Tippy. Looking to do some damage here. Can't really get anything. He gets taken out. Schmuck is just pistoling people on the point. Gets taken out by Diaz. Oh, this is so close to being capped. And it is capped. And it's 2-2. Two -two. DC with the comeback. And wow, this is map point now. Whoever wins the next, uh, next round wins the map. And I did not see this coming after the first two no. rounds, GPS. Seems like uh, DC has stabilized after the first round there and really doing a lot better. We see both demos now in the top. Oh, big, quick pick there from Ethan. Takes down Tippy. That's exactly what you don't want to do in the first few seconds. Ethan, oh, gets a headshot on Heavy as well. Both Tippy and the Heavy down. Tippy just respawning. And now Tippy squeaks on the crits. Ooh, that's interesting. Nomad still rocking the regular Metagun. Maybe they're thinking, you know, they need to change it up a bit, you know. Two rounds uh, in a row lost, having been so comfortable at 2-0. Maybe change crits and yeah. see what's going on. Ethan's on a bit of a roll now, takes I mean, down his opposing sniper. I mean, if they want to get anything with this crit screen, they have to go pretty quickly. And, uh, they have been spotted and they know this, and Nomad's going to have Uber pretty soon, and they need to go, but... Uh, their opponents keep buying their own team a lot of time here just by wasting them. They can't really go anywhere. Now they have a crit screen coming out of here, and they, yeah, they just get a sniper, and then the Uber comes out. Oh, and... poor play there. Jellyfish gets dropped. Um, the Uber was flashed, but it wasn't flashed back quick enough. G Man stayed alive, and he gets killed now. And yeah, even though the crits came up against the Uber. Um, oh, and the spy's in on the medic! Oh, no, the pirate's there to protect him. Yeah, there was two crit stickies placed on the floor there, and um, uh, Jellyfish gets taken down, and that was really unfortunate. Looking at Enigmas now, he goes and shuts down the Sniper. Not, doesn't kill him though, but uh, make sure he can't go where he wanted. And he's also being backed up by his scout there, so uh, you can see like those two are working really well on the flank there. Let's see what Dias decides to do. Swine is already on the flank there, kind of bullying them out of there. Dias joins up, so there's like soldier flank versus flank here. Yeah, SMG's got good control of uh, the pool room. Ignim Ignism oh, he's going to get caught out, though. Yeah. Like he the water didn't cut. have any distraction, so unless your weaker enemies are distracted, it's very hard to do anything as a spy. So I'm paint. Oh, but the drop from Ethan there, Pipsqueak, lays down, and yeah, those body shots, man, they really sting. Yeah, that's pretty huge, and the Ubers come out onto the point. Not sure if it was needed, there's nothing really there to fight, they could have held it for a little bit longer. Um, the spy does get flashed. I don't think anyone realizes the spy does get taken down by G-Man again. Um, and they're going to recap this, and this is a, this is the closest round yet. Points going back and forth. Yeah, let's see, Jellyfish. Doing some damage here, Tippy as well, they're exchanging stickies there. Jellyfish seems to have more health. Than for TPS to back out of there, and they're like on the low ground, and uh, yeah, Jellyfish. Oh, they're backing off a lot. Uh, wait, they're giving just this entire area, just basically giving it up for free here. And yeah, they're just taking it. SMG just coming back in and uh, retaking that air. Oh, but there's a spy! Gets the stab on Pips. That's a second drop in a row there. Ow. One from the sniper and one from the spy. Yeah, I don't think we saw many drops so far in the game, and then two in a row. But it looks like SMG is just going to take this point anyway. Tippy getting some good damage down. Um, and yeah. And then once again, there's no aggression coming out of DC. And then the medic does get caught out. Gets a little slash from Fat Schmuck. Gets taken down. And G-Man, yeah, it does get taken down as well. Um, they're losing players around the combo. And then they're being left alone. And you need more than just your heavy to stay alive. Yeah, absolutely. Just watching Tippy here. They're also taking refuge a bit behind on the point. Someone's on the point, and that is a pyro. Runs in and could do a lot of damage to this uh, demo here. Demo does get taken out. That was a jellyfish, another stick from his. Seeing rockets fly by, and that's probably Enigmas here. Rocking the biggest bazooka still. Oh, and another backstab assassin! He's just focusing Pipsqueak right now. Gets taken down, and that's a really good scout. And then slashes Rainy to death. Yeah. And uh, DC are going to take this point back for sure. Some nice butterfly spy action there by the spy. Don't necessarily need to stab him in the back to always kill him. I'm also watching uh, a fat schmuck still around. Oh, he's looking to get a kill here. He's in a good spot. He just needs to be patient, and we've seen him be patient before. Getting like heavy medic demo, any of those are, are good picks. Now the pyro's G-Man is watching there. He's, he's very aware of the spies. 
Rape car is around her as well, so this is a very dangerous position for him. The control point has been contested. Yeah, he's just standing there waiting for a distraction. Once again, SMG just walking uh, onto the point. This might be the distraction that he's waiting for. He has to go now. If he wants to get anything done. Uber exchange. Uber coming out on top here. He did get the stab on the NG and a sap, but that was it. I was so close, GPS. I was so close to criticizing DC there because it just seemed they were going to give up the point for free, but they timed it pretty well. Um, and then just use the Uber to just destroy SMG on the point. Um, well played by them, and they're going to be heading to around 30 seconds. And SMG are just coming into the point. They're on Kritzkrieg, um, and you know they're not going to get a charge very soon. Yeah, let's see here. And another backstab from Assassin takes down Pipsqueak again. And if your meta keeps dying, then you're not going to have the heals, and you're not going to be able to do much. But they do get the point somehow. And Nomad's got to be careful. He's at 90%. And Enigmas is on him. Oh wow, Ethan. Ethan with the same wow. bench out there. Wow, it's pretty crazy. Ethan's got to be my MVP for this round, uh, for this map. I mean, he's doing so well. However, it ends. He was used onto the point again. I don't think it was needed. Um, I don't think that they're going to get much down. Or the spider does take down Rainy, the heavy, and it looks like they're going to recap. And this is the GPS. This is so close. This is really close here. Spy gets taken out. Assassin he tried to harass the demo. He was all all he was doing was really buying his own team time. Pipsqueak here now with the quick fix. Flying demos all over the place. Falls to the ground. Gets taken out by G-Man. Scout cleaned up here by Dias. Cleaning up Pipsqueak. There's hardly anyone alive for SMG to do anything about this. And uh, yeah, it looks like uh, wow. DC takes the ga first game. And we're back. Man, this... This is another map here. We're ready. This is pretty intense. We already started here, so now we got DC in the red and SMG in the blue, and nobody has a point yet. Just that overlay was wrong. Anyway, <laughs> this is a process. We're gonna be watching the jellyfish cam. Let's see, approach the middle. Same time as Tippy, except Tippy is there faster and has more health. Yeah, he's sticking off the health pack. That's really good. Jellyfish can't get to the ho his health pack. Um, but they're not really making use of that. Evil Witch gets a headshot, but um, wow, SMG are just really passive behind their rock, not taking much ground at all. This could be a patient play, uh, oh, patient play, but I don't know. Again. Jumping away, they're still rocking the Beggar's Bazooka. He used that all game last time, and he falls to his death. And yeah, it looks like the middle point is going to go to SMG, which of course is sick marmalade, Grandpa. Rocket launcher sick. takes down the heavy. Actually, that's a pretty big pick for an engineer. Yeah, Nickmas doing really well with that Vegas Bazooka. It's kind of like his his thing, I guess. Um, it's like his trademark. Yeah, I mean, to second top frag, just behind Ethan, the sniper, on Lakeside. Like, he obviously does really well with it. Does a lot of damage. Um, big oh, big stab here by Assassin, and the Uber's used on the medic, wow, and they've got no heavy. Wow, that was reflect by disorder by the border on Assassin there. <laughs> reflect rocket on a spy. That is not something you see every day. It's also just ordered by the border. Do a lot of fancy reflect uh, work the last round, so you should be watching me pretty closely this game. Let's see what he decides to do here. I know it's like, like Swine is like hesitant to shoot at him, because if he fires at the regular timings, his rocket's just going to come flying back at him. And he knows this. Oh. Yeah, it's best to just kind of not fire rockets at pyros. That's <laughs> good advice, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. But if rockets all you have, what do you do? You ask for assistance and jump away. That's <laughs> what your flank's there for. <laughs> so we just have heavies just shooting at each other. Blue heavy backs out of there, doesn't have the medic back up, but uh, DC hasn't been able to move out here. They're kind of just like stuck in this. Is this computers? Where is the sewers? No, and they're trying to get entry picks, but it's not really working for them. It's hard to come through choke. You've got Evil Witch here on the sniper. Running that machina, he's just watching choke. And if you don't take him him down, then he's going to headshot someone as they come through choke. Oh, Evil Witch, and I feel they with you because it's a girl. I get yelled at now. You get yelled at. Oh, no. But you can just do what I say, and that's like, the class is male. Like, the sniper class is male, and that's what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Sorry, well, she is now moving up to choke. Does spot out the spy. And uh, she takes him down <laughs> with some help from Tippy. But that's what I like to see, a sniper running with the combo. You're so well protected. No yeah. one can just easily jump into you, and it, it's just it's just hell to play against. Yeah, especially if you're attacking. Like, if the uh, other sniper is defending, he kind of has, like, do I kill the sniper? I have a full charge. Do I kill the heavy? Do I kill the medic? What do I kill? And before he has a chance to decide, he dies. And speaking of dying here, oh, Tippy there with the 
stick on Swine there, denying uh, the soldier for tanking down the medic. Evil Witch just has five health. Uber coming in on the point here, counter Uber as well. Pyro is going to be air blasting all over. And this uh, blue heavy, oh, gets taken out. Oh, and Pipsqueak does yeah. get taken out as well by Rapecar. And he's continuing, he keeps going on. And oh, is any of them going to die, Evil Witch? Oh, she grabs right. the health pack, and the NG is going to survive as well. But great play by Rapecar. That's the that's the entry that they needed. Yeah. And oh, nice. they just need to go. I'm not sure what they're waiting for. There isn't that much here. There wasn't much there other than Enigmas firing <laughs> triple rockets at Joe. Yeah. Um, but he's backed off now, and it looks like uh, they should be able to. Oh no! Oh no! Fat schmuck got butter oh, knife nomad. by Nomad. Yeah. So now they just gotta go on the point there. They. Uh... Yeah, so toasty. To do the heavy. I mean, G-Man also got taken out. He went by himself. He should have stayed on the point and just capped it. So it seems like they're spreading themselves a bit thin when they get the advantage, and then uh, SMG kind of just fills those uh, holes and counter pushes. That's what they're doing yeah. right now. It wasn't. It wasn't good allocation of their players. Yeah, exactly. uh, G-Man just walked right up. He should have been capping. They would have had the cap by now. They would have had forward spawns. Yeah. Um, and as it is, they haven't. And they've lost a lot of players. Yeah, this isn't good. And also, they don't have an uber advantage. And I think Enigmas has... Yep, he has a full Conjurer as well. This is going to be a very scary push here. Here comes the Conjurer. Increased running speed and an uber on a demo. Let's see here. They're just running. They're, they used the uber on a sniper. There's nothing here. So I guess they misread the situation here. Here comes the Pyro. The car will be able to do uh, something about this. Just air blasting them around. Buying themselves some more crucial time here. As uh, most of their team is dead. Yeah, I mean, that, that's not a good decision in my book, using that Uber just to kind of face a sniper, but... I'm not entirely uh, sure what happened there. I wasn't looking at the, the teams, I was just looking at their positioning, and there was, like, no one there. Yeah, the second point was empty other than a sniper, but they Ubered in anyway. Um, they should have maybe just checked beforehand, but as it is, DC are down a lot of players, and I think SMG want to walk into the last point now. They're coming in through one Oh, but uh, Rainy does get taken down, and so does Disorder. Sandwich and Tippy goes down. Medic. Wow. Yeah, Assassin gets a backstab, but that could have been anything. Dias and Assassin working really well together to get that medic. They got a lot of couple of kills there, and I think they saved the uh, last hold here for their team. Now they can decide if they want to push out or uh, whatnot. Let's see, where's the blue spy? Fatchmuck is not where he needs to be. The scout isn't in a position where he can really go for a back out without being spotted. And so oh, and Nomad's running the quick fix, and he's popped it on the second point. Oh, was probably expecting is to getting disconnected. Oh, this is bad. He's all alone, and he's going to get focused fire down. He's going to... No, oh, he needs to get out of there. And 13 health survives, just like he planned. Then he has a sandwich. Wow, that was <laughs> incredibly close. Close, lucky. I, yeah. He didn't get the cap even, and now G-Man... Oh, he's all by himself. He does have the high ground, though. He might be a surprise heavy attacking. He takes a headshot, and the other heavy's there. Nope, down he goes. Enigmas is on an 8 kill streak right now. With that 8 kill streak, takes down Nomad, so Medic down, and there's, yeah, the cap comes in. Enigmas, just a one man machine, takes down 8 players in a row, including the Medic, and then caps the point by himself. A great play by him. Um, and that's 1 0 to SMG. Yeah. Watching our Fatchmuck's actually tough fragging over Enigmas here. Medic's on the third point, uh, third position here, and Evil Witch on fourth. So it seems like their support class is doing pretty well. Plus, Enigmas. Let's see another mid fight here. Let's see if... Yeah, DC's got the high ground, um, but they're not really walking across the point. They need to utilize the the high ground, and Enigmas is just biding his time. I think he's going to get a buff yeah, and then jump in. Weak, so he had to go back there. Yeah. Are they? I think both medics are running regular medigun. Yep. And they're actually identical Uber percentages as well. But it looks like uh, DC might actually get the uh, first engagement here. That's uh, good news for them. Getting this first yeah, point. Ethan got there. three kills on that mid fight. It was really well played by him. Oh, and Swine takes down Pipsqueak. Whoa. Good play by him. Big jump in. And, uh, and Nomad all oh, has to use. He's forced by the scout. Well played by Joppy. Uh, comes in and just forces Nomad to use his Uber early. That's going to save them from using it on the last point. And I think G-Man, well, he's all on his own. He's going to try and cap. I don't think it's a good idea. No, you can't be 1v1 a wrangled mini. Yeah, Trust me, it does not work. Anyway. He needs to get closer. This mini is taking a lot of hits too before eventually going down. And down it goes. 
counter mini going up. It's sapped immediately. It's 100 metal wasted. But uh, they are still holding the position though. Like they didn't lose any ground from this. Oh, but Evil Witch was watching Nomad. Watching that door there. Oh, it's gonna be scary. Oh, Yoppy again runs into the medic, just holding that W key. Runs in, takes down Nomad, medic down, and it looks like uh, SMG are going to be able to hold this point and just defend it. I mean, I think it comes back to what you were saying about G Man maybe just walking ahead of his combo a bit too much. Yeah. You need that heavy to protect your medic, and things like scouts, you know, heavy, that's just, you know, you're just walking into a meat grinder, but if your heavy's not there, then you can't protect him. Exactly. And also, like, stacking the point is also a good natural way of, like, creating a small death ball, you know, like, everybody's going together if everybody stacks the point. It's quite easy to get into the mentality where it's like, oh yeah, somebody will cap and we will go ahead. And then their cap happens way too late and they spread themselves thin and they lose. Which is something uh, DC has been doing. And it seems to yeah. be happening, it seems like... Once again, G-Man's on his own, he gets yeah. backstabbed by Schmuck. Because um, as a heavy, you're pretty powerful, but you're pretty big, so you're easy, easily focused fired and taken out if you're not careful. And I think uh, the red, the blue heavy rainy is doing a much better job. Oh, but the Ethan scratched that with the drop on Pipsqueak, I believe. That was a drop because I heard the <laughs> sound. Goodness. The crackle. Yeah. It's like the best sound if you're a sniper. Worst if you're a medic. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, it's very similar It's very similar to when you destroy a teleporter. So sometimes there's a yeah. little bit of worry. You think, was that a medic or not? Was that a medic or was that a teleporter? Usually the teleporter doesn't scream, though. The medic does. <laughs> It's a, good, it's a good way of knowing, good way yeah. of knowing. The more you know. Well, Nomad has a full uber and uh, they're looking to retake this middle point here. Pops it very early, isn't connected with the heavy immediately, but that's okay. Did they get the ground they needed to? Let's see. Yeah, now G-Man, he's all the way in the front by himself. He's gonna have a sandwich. Uh, he should actually be back on the point and- Oh! Help the medic build the uber, but the medic's dead from Enigmas there. And now he hits a pipe in the end, but he does his job. He's going to be happy to trade and the medic, and no one's capping! They didn't no get the capping! So <laughs> late. Oh, that was just barely. Heavy's way oh, out of position. Oh, Pipsqueak gets taken down by G-Man! Wow, G-Man, I think we owe an apology to G-Man. His, uh, his risky, I'm going to walk forward by myself plays, did manage to take down the medic there. Um, I recommend him backing up now. <laughs> but yeah, it takes on a medic, and maybe that's, uh, that's going to open the doors for a push. Well, their own medic died recently too, so they're gonna have to do a soft push and do it pretty quickly. Otherwise, the other medic's just gonna run into the position. Let's see if Rocket Launcher is up there. He's just. He has his mini in the same spot as before, probably running to Wrangler still, and yeah. It looks like this is gonna be pretty tough to pull. I saw a minigun fly out of the room there. That's probably Rainy dying. Yep, that it was. Just to point out that Assassin, who did really, really well on like, Lakeside for DC, Getting a lot of good picks on Pips Week, including a couple of drops in the last few rounds. He's only at six points at the bottom of his team scoreboard, while uh, Fat Schmuck is at the top with 33. Yeah. So obviously the Gets change of map is. The uh, Razorback removed from uh, <laughs> from the uh, sniper there. Didn't get the kill, but uh, there you go. Now the sniper doesn't have a Razorback. That's something you hardly ever see. Maybe that's like the new meta. Like if you see a sniper with a Razorback, you just stab him anyway. Then when you respawn, just come back around. Yeah, stab him again. That's why you should have like a second knife. <laughs> or if you swatch out your rover with another knife. Yeah, we need like a Kimbo knives in yeah. TF2, just double stabs. But yeah, I mean, 5 CP is kind of a strange, strange map choice for um, for spies. It's kind of difficult to know how to play. Uh, especially Jeez. crosses. It's like there's like no place to hide around where the enemy is. It's so. it's very stalemate -y, Yeah, so you kind of get these moments where it's like, well. My team's not going to push, the other team's not going to push. It's between me and the sniper to try and get a pick and do something. Um, and so you know, people are always aware. But this is good pressure from SMG and Nomad, he's going to get taken down! Oh, and he does! How was that a backstab? <gasps> schmuck. I'm looking at you. You schmuck. <laughs> you schmuck. I mean, to me, he stared in the eyes of the medic and he stabbed him somehow in the back. Maybe he just reached over his shoulder, I don't know. Yeah, he reached but, um, over his shoulder. He threw his bicycle at the wall and it bounced off and hit the medic in the back. Yeah, like a Batman with like yeah. the Batarang, just spun it round. A Spyarang. <laughs> now, take note. <laughs> but SMG just. Oh, and G Man, once again, caught too far forward. SMG's going to get the second point quite easily. Um, oh, 
and, and the conscience come out. Scary. Yeah, Ethan's also way out of position here. Really weak. Gets taken out. Enigma's leading the charge there. He can go with the rest of his team. Ubu coming in. Yeah, this is looking like a very scary push here. Some GC seems yeah, very Yeah, but they're going to just block the point. Oh, but backstab by Assassin. Grabs oh, the pyro he's flying, and save man. the Are you sure he's not Batman? <laughs> he's flying all over. He can do that mana cape, but yeah, second point going to SMG. 2 0, and it's been about halfway through the 30 minutes. Um, and it's only 2 0. It is a very stalemate -y kind of map, but Enigmus, with the pushes into last, he's pretty much kind of playing like a pocket, using that conch and just dealing so much damage with that bazooka. Yeah. Extremely bursty. It seems to be working out for them, because you can just reposition yourself so that the burstiness is good. We have Swine here, very much on the front. It lands on a bunch of tra sticky traps from Tippy there on the health pack. We got Rocket Launcher on the side, and once again, G-Man is all by himself on the side here. Gets taken up by a headshot from Evil Witch. Overheal or not, that wouldn't have made a slight of difference, but even counter snipes Evil Witch is going to give them his team a bit of breathing room. They don't have to worry about the sniper. Rainy takes down Dias, the scout. And, uh... Stabs going up all over the place. Crit screen coming in here. Definitely oh, takes that pipsqueak. Well done. Yeah, they got what they wanted, but they lost a lot too. And uh, this could be like a momentum uh, creator for SMG here if they take I it. I don't know. Swine and uh, Ethan are kind of combining. They've taken about six players between them. And there's only two up for SMG. If there's a push now, then... Yeah, I don't think they will, will be able to. I thought they had more than they had, but they lost a lot of players there. Might actually be losing this middle point too, actually, yeah. Looks like it. there's a soldier here. And the demo is so oh, not on full health, but here comes some reinforcements. Soldier backs up. Gmon's on his side once again, doing some chip damage. Oh, but the headshot from Ethan onto the heavy takes him out, and then gets immediately killed by Joppy here. Yeah, Medic needs to kind of reconnect. Demo by himself, he's trying to 1v1 the NG. That's Rocket Launcher, and he's in the opposing team's uh, PC area. And Jellyfish needs to combine. Oh, and he gets taken down by Schmuck. Great double headshot there from the Spy using the Ambassador. Um, yeah, I was saying Jellyfish not with his combo, and a big jump! Oh, Enigmas. Teach me your ways of the bazooka. He just takes down Nomad once again. G-Man getting three kills in return, but... Yeah, Enigma's just getting the key picks at the right time, and this is 100% on uh, Pipsqueak. It's going to walk you through Choke. Yeah, Pipsqueak's also really checking this back for the Spy. The Spy is alive. Where is that red Spy? <gasps> There's a level 3. GPS level is a level 3, three hiding around near the lobby. Surprise level, oh, but he gets sapped, and immediately... Oh, okay. <laughs> that didn't work out for them. I got excited for nothing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like... It's like a surprise level 3 if they didn't come that way. If it came from any other direction, it would have been good. But, like, the spy happened to be there, and the heavy happened to be right behind the spy. So it's like, oh, yeah. A uh, free, free kill. But he... Yeah. Toasty hasn't given up. He's rebuilding. He's rebuilding New Hope. SMG already in on last. Have a level 1 sentry. It does more damage than a mini sentry, mind you. Just shoots slower, and he gets taken out. Lots of blue here. Oh, well played by Diaz! takes down three people and defends that point. It's so close. Someone just needs to tickle that point and it's going to get capped. But um, that level one is you right on tickles. top of it. You can't tickle when there's a mini uh, level one shooting there. <laughs> Diaz gets five! Takes down Pipsqueak. He's on a roll. Finally gets taken down by Yoppy, but well played by him. Yoppy and no man's uses quick points. Well, I thought he was going to get it there, uh, but the Engineer blocked it pretty quickly. Nice reaction time there, and it looks like DC will be able to recap this point without a back cap going on. And that's the good news for them. They also run the quick fix, which means they will have it before the other team has the Uber, and they have to get the Medic with this quick fix. Oh, but something's on Nomad. Yeah, that was Ratchet Mark. Yep, I just saw it helps go down, and he died. So, never mind. Advantage Pipsqueak. Yeah, and G-Man's uh, undoubtedly going to get taken down. No, he gets the health back. That's just poor, poor flank, because it wasn't just the spy, it was also the pyro behind them. Um, if it wasn't going to be the spy, the pyro would have taken the medic. Gotta love the response from DC there. They lost their own medic, and then they're like, oh yeah, if we can't have a medic, we're taking yours. And then they just did. And then they realized they could just attack, and they were doing that, just retaking the middle point. And finally, G-Man is like, alright, point, I guess I'll cap it. <laughs> G-Man's been doing too much of but yeah. This is what they need. Now the other heavy's out of position. Oh, he's using gloves running energy. He goes flying! And he, he gets out of there. Soldier bomb. Just to reload. 
Nice reflex by the Pyro there, keeping uh, Swine off his medic's back, pretty much. And then he runs into Enigma, so grabs the health pack and wins that engagement. Yeah, Enigma is kind of it's an interesting matchup. Uh, Beggar's Bazooka versus Black Box. Um, Beggar's Bazooka, you're going to deal more damage if you aim it right, but Black Box, you're going to get that health back. Yeah. But DC, they could push in. Oh, they're not. No, and the medic is caught out. Nomad, where are you? What are you doing? He's out. down so weak. He's with his pyro, but he's in the opposition. Oh series. no, he runs into a stick. Okay, he gets taken out by Tippy. Yeah, he basically was like, hey, hang on, I'll step on the sticky so you can do 140 damage or whatever it does on close range. Yeah, there was there was not really any calls about where the team was going, and yeah, <laughs> SMG just walking through PC, and just Nomad gets sandwiched there and dies and. They may have to lose second oh, now. Oh, comes Swine. He might be get a force out of this. No, the medic surfs away. Oh, but the spy's on the medic! Oh, butter knives him. Assassin. Doesn't even need to backstab him. Maybe that was like the plan all along. The Swine was like, alright, I can only get one rocket off, so I'll launch the medic towards you. Alright, here he comes. And it was like, pull! And then he launched him at him, and then he died. Pokes him in the face. Yeah. Some might call it luck. We call it coordination. <laughs> Yes, it was totally intended. Skill. And, then, and you're not going to do it ah, again. Look at G-Man, look at G-Man, he's in sewers. And he's going to take down Enigmas here. And will he take down the Pyro? No, he doesn't. Not a very good trade. Um, not really agreeing with some of these kind of ninja heavies. I mean, if you're going to be a ninja heavy, you've got to take down at least three or four people to make it a worthwhile trade. A 1v1 yeah. with a soldier is not going not gonna to be good enough. Ninja heavy works especially well if you're in the area where the weakened team is going to retreat. That's why, where you want to be. But you're relying on your team being able to do a lot of damage without you, and a lot of and a lot of teams in Highlander, heavy is kind of like uh, the backbone along with the demo. We hardly ever see like anyone go anywhere without their heavier demo. But G-Man, he goes where he wants. Oh, evil witch! Oh, barely misses the medic there. Let's see where's no nobody? Yeah, nobody doesn't want to go anywhere. Landing on some spam, forcing the sniper out of there. Nice choice. DC are moving in through PC. Maybe they're going to try and go behind. Oh, this is going to be a really interesting engagement on mid, and they are behind. Pyro goes flying in the air. Takes down Tippy. Mm, Quick fix like, versus Uber, though. Yeah. Looks like the Uber's going to come out on top. The medic guy is disconnected from the heavy. The heavy. Where's G Man? Yeah, G Man's dead. Yeah, he didn't Yeah, G Man just on. ran in the opposite direction. He's running, he's running forward, but Swine's in on the medic. Can't take him down. Enigmas was in on Swine. Took him down, and uh, yeah. He's gonna have a Conjurer now pretty soon, I think. So yeah, he's gonna be using it, and oh yeah, this could be scary. He has this heavy with him too, as well as a demo. Oh yeah. Enigmas definitely got the timing down on the uh, Beggar Spazooka Conjurer combo. He's been using it a lot this game. Yeah, but having struggles. He just runs there. up there and just kills stuff. Because you know, you run so fast. Yeah, it's really hard to aim. It's quite deceiving when you think where well, you know where someone's going to be, and then they move twice as fast. Yeah. Not predictable quick fix coming off. Nomad using that additional speed to run back to his heavy. Oh, Pipsqueak though gets taken down by Assassin. Starting to come into his own in this game. Nomad actually running the uh, Solemn Vow there to see the enemy's health. Oh, but there's an engine on him. That's Rocket Launcher. Oh. Sort of by the border. Oh, but the out, flare, uh, the flare, the flare yeah. takes down Nomad. Well played. Rocket Launcher did all the work. Sort of by the border gets the fame, or the flame rather, if you're into puns. Um, first pun of the night. Yeah, and I'm disappointed. That's the last one too. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, a bit of a stalemate going on. Yeah, no I team mean, kind of successfully pushing. Yeah, they've been kind of like attacking and then falling apart and then just falling back to what they were before, kind of like a trench war, I guess. Yeah, just chipping away each, each other. Um, Pipsqueak's still on the medigun and uh, Nomad is still on the quick fix, so Nomad's going to have it earlier if he builds this correctly. And there's seven minutes left on the clock here and... DC really needs to put up the aggression here if they want to take this map because the other team is up two points. They can get away with this. Yeah, they got to go pick on the sniper, but then they're bleeding players out. I mean, a sniper pick in Highlander is good enough to push through the choke. Um, but then if you lose your heavy, and you lose other players. And a big jump in by Tippy. 
Yeah, I, I felt he was focusing. He was going for the medic, but the medic was kind of out of reach, and he kind of like. Well, the medic got taken down by Schmuck anyway. <laughs> yeah, why well, did it matter? Oh, it was like the the pull thing again. Like he launches them into the spy. It's a new meta. Yeah. Coordination. Pipsqueak and uh, Nomad did both go down at the same time, though. So when they respawn, it'll be interesting to see what miniguns they use. If they stick to the same, then that means Nomad's going to have an advantage with his quick fix. And yeah, you know they need to use that heal advantage and that uber advantage to push mid. It's quite a different style of playing, though. It, uh, if your team's not used to it, the um, like how the heal works with the quick fix, it's going to be hard to capitalize on that. So yeah, I mean, see. quick fix. You need to be aggressive. Realize that you're going to out heal the enemy team. So just you know take more damage but you'll get healed quicker but as we get to about six minutes left we're entering into the realm of kind of they need to get a point back otherwise it starts to become impossible for them to to win the map two nil down they need to do something rather quickly oh looks like they're gonna come around behind them gonna come around this uh, flanky side here oh neither have you seen the other oh evil witch with the headshot on g-man it's taken on. Quick fix comes out, but uh, you're not invulnerable. And being body blocked by the scout here, scout eventually falls to die as and the medic runs away. But now Pipsqueak's gonna have a full Uber against the no quick fix Ubered. Uh, what do you call a quick fix Uber charge? Quicks. Quicks? Yeah, all right. No, he's up against no quicks. <laughs> That's not really stupid. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm I'm trying to make quicks a thing, but right, Nomad quicks. is on his own and G-Man's taking the teleporter. Well, he takes a pipe, but no, they're going to have to defend their last now, surely. Oh, I heard the conjurer. Where's the cavalry? There he is. <laughs> oh, Ethan takes down the sniper, but here in comes Enigmas, launches the medic away. The great thing about the conjurer is that it's kind of like a black box once you've got... Um, once you got the charge, because every time you're, you're hitting things, you're getting health back, and uh, you know Enigmas is just looking lethal at the moment. Yeah, this is not looking good for DC. I mean, they're already up some points, and they're already this aggressive. DC doesn't really. They could quite that. happily just hold. Oh, yeah. But Enigmas is on the point. There's no one to stop him. Spawns are out. He takes down the sniper. Does get taken out by Jellyfish eventually, but that cap is half point, and then this oh the scout Jellyfish is doing so well. Just keeping that point uncapped. Oh, and that spire almost got the uh, capture there. Is that what you call it, the that, spire? Yeah, um, it's it's like a mini spire, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It kind of glitched out for me. I think it was so close. Yeah. Oh, now almost everyone is dead for well, just a respawn wake coming. It's only a level one sentry here. But the respawns come in, process respawns, and uh, they're gonna catch out Tippy. Oh, I think. Yeah, he gets sap. taken out by Diaz. Scout spy on the point, medic goes out with the solemn wow, not gonna be enough. I think that's pretty much the nail in the coffin on that map. Yeah, I mean SMG had no reason to kind of be aggressive and push in there. They could have quite happily just held DC at their last and just waited the time out, but it's good aggression from them. 3-0. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna crush them, crush them properly, like crush all their hopes and dreams. Yeah, I mean, it, it really is, you know, you're gonna... DC would have come into this map with really high hopes, really good uh, morale after coming back from 2-0 down on Lakeside, but now they're gonna be thinking, you know, 3-0, we didn't even get around on the board. Maybe if they, they get something in this in this last last few minutes, it may set them up for the next map. We shall see. Tippy. Not really getting a whole lot. Uh, this is a... Kind of a slower paced mid fight here, I have to say. Nobody's really taking the mid. They're just kind of just avoiding the point altogether. I mean, DC's combo is with 100% quick fix and they're pushing Spire. Yeah, now they they're rotating the around point. to choke. Did you forget? Step one, cap mid. Step two, cap the Spire. Step three, cap last. Can't skip any steps. It'd be interesting to see who's actually main calling for DC. Because if it's G Man, he'd probably just be like, let's just rotate. He tries to 1v1 the entire team. Gets taken out by Schmuck. Schmuck reaching that 90 point mark as a spy Jesus. on 5 CP. Yeah. Gotta be the MVP for this round so far. Just doing so much work there for his team. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, for me in the last map, it was Ethan just rattling off those headshots. But I think uh, Schmuck just quietly behind the scenes 
getting so many kills. And if you've just got a spy hassling you non-stop, it's really frustrating. Quickfix comes out onto the sniper, and uh, Nomad tries to flash as many people as he can. But they're losing players, and SMG could just really, really put up their foot down here and, and take a look at this order. Just caps the point, caps Spire by himself. Yeah, really well played there by him. Just air blasting everyone off the point. Now almost everyone from uh, DC is dying as well. DC, who had such a nice comeback the first game, seems to be having troubles coming back this game. It's a it's a whole different whole different ball game in five CP, um, and I just think uh, G Man and uh, the combo the rest of the combo for DC maybe didn't make the the right decisions in the confrontations. Yeah. Because um, when it all comes what it all comes down to is can you get the points in the right order? And it seems like they split themselves too thin, and kind of like capping the point was like their second priority, is what it looked like. They were more about positions, 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 but positions aren't good if you don't get the point. Absolutely, and I like your, your phrase of death ball. You know, when Enigmus has uh, got a few kills and he's opened up the way, he kind of thinks, okay, that well, the flank's kind of okay for my scout and my NG to handle. Yeah. Uses his conch with the combo and you just get that death ball coming into last, and that seems to have worked for them really well. Yeah, and especially like if the death ball, like if the death ball consists of four people, and they meet two people that are respawning and running towards the death ball, they can kill like infinite amounts of people because they just have numbers advantage, you know? And uh, that's why I really think death ball is a good idea. Everyone should do it more. But yeah, Rainy here, cleaning up house. I'm disappointed because uh, Schmutz just died, so he won't reach 100 points on this map. Oh. It's at 95 though, which is <laughs> way over the, the 80 of uh, the 80s of, his, of the medics on both teams. But really well played there by both teams, but SMG just looking really dominating on this map. And we are now on the final map. Currently, one to one. It's winner takes all. We're gonna have two teams. It's gonna be SMG in the blue, DC in the red. This is gonna be Upward, our first payload map in this half. I was almost gonna say Half Life Open, but Highlander <laughs> Open. Yes, the Highlander Open. Hey, Cello. Hey, Cello. Um, so we've got, we got about 45 seconds before the map starts. Um, I didn't know many of these players. If I'm going to be honest, I didn't know any of these players other than Pipsqueak uh, before this game. Obviously, this is the Highlander Open, so it's for newer players. Um, but based on the first two maps, who do you think is going to shine on Upward? Um, it's really hard to tell, really, because this is Upward. Um, depending on the... Excuse me, depending on the first round we see here, it's probably going to determine it because they're both up one map. And, uh, well, 5CP was very much favored for SMG, but Payload is like a move in. Capture the flag? No, capture the. Hold on, take three. All right, King of the Hill, all right? It's like a moving King of the Hill, is what I want to say, except it's not that at all at any point. Um. Great analysis. Yeah, dude, I'm just, just all great. over the yeah. place. Yeah. Why don't you take off for the <laughs> start here? Okay, so um, yeah, SMG's going to be attacking, and as usual, they're leaving their medic in the spawn. Enigmus has actually changed his rocket launcher. Shot Kari, he's now on the direct hit. Oh yeah, oh, he's, um, he's going anti-sentry for the start. Yeah, trying to take down that sentry early on, um, but Ethan, already on a two-kill streak, he's somebody that I want to be watching. Um, he just gets taken down by <laughs> Tippy, so I'm not going to be watching him anymore, but yeah, I expect oh, him to shine. Look at this combination really well. from Tippy and uh, the other, yeah. Enigmus takes Enigmus down the sentry already. anti-sentry, took it down immediately. <laughs> but Ravecar says no, does a reflect with the direct hit, takes him down, um, but the medic is moving out now, um, Pipsqueak is pushing forward, and the Uber's used, there is no sentry yeah. there, so all they have to do is force the Uber, forces the flashes, really well played there by Tippy. Now the engineer has to make a decision, do you try to hold this even longer, or do you try, look at this NG punches the sentry gun, that's like the balls of the rocket launcher there, he's like, oh you got a sentry gun, cool, I'll punch that. And he took it out. So yeah, I think um, uh, Meredith should have uh, fallen back a bit earlier there. I, I think like they thought they could hold it, but uh, it looks like they couldn't. So he's gonna build here on, on second. Might get get it ready on time unless there's like some someone behind enemy lines. Is there? No, nope, Flashmux on the card lands a headshot on the other on the assassin there. With the he did get a three kill streak though. So pretty quickly, assassin yeah. take down a couple of plays in a row. But this isn't too bad. One minute ten to lose your first point. 
isn't the end of the world. Uh, no. Nomad didn't die, so he's got 8% Uber. They've got a good hold in house. They just need to get that combo in there. And they've got a level 2 sentry. So this is just kind of, this is pretty standard. Pretty standard. No. Um, Fetch mark is now, oh, look at Fetch mark. Do they hear this? Oh yeah, they absolutely heard it. Yeah, he just walks into the minigun. The minigun, yeah. Oh, Evil Witch with the headshot on Jellyfish. That's no stickies on defense. That is definitely something you can push on. Yep, here we go. Look at this Enigmas with the rest of the combo as well. Pushing the Uber, but... Uh... Oh, uh, some interesting positioning here. They haven't gotten the house there, but they did take down G-Man. He got disconnected from the rest of his team. Yeah, Enigmas running the uh, Beggar's Bazooka again. But that was well played by the Pyro. He just pushed everyone back. Oh, big jump by Swine! Yeah. And it kind of forces that conch, and that's going to come in. And I wonder if Enigmas is going to try and do anything on the sentry. It's wrangled, so it's not going to automatically hit him. No, but it's, it's just bullet sponging it at this point. And, uh, one thing that's cool about the black box is that it does 15 health to yourself. Like, you get 15 health per target you hit. So if you hit, like, four people, that's 15 times four, you know? Yeah. So that's a lot of health. Uh, I think Pippi is going to have his Uber. He's got it now, and a Nomad doesn't have it because Pippi got an Uber saw on uh, the Spy. Uber's come in, and oh, oh great! The in comes the Spy, saps yeah. the Sentry. That's a brilliant move there by SMG. Textbook and um, there. yeah, can't get any more textbook than that. And that's going to be second point now. Oh, Enigmas is. Oh, dude, Enigmas got the Force too with that uh, Conchi used. That is basically like a free advantage too, without really any commitment, because he got out of there too. He went in, forced them, and went out. And uh, that, you can do that on payload because you don't need to attack further than your card is, you know. So that is pretty good. Oh, but oh, Ethan, Ethan yeah. takes down straight. I just, I just saw like the line, the lineup of the sniper watching the fat ass, and then he killed the scout as well. That is capping powerful and the NG. He stopped the cart and he stopped the heavy. Ethan, the man with the plan. Yeah, I'm just watching Ethan now. Him on defense is something that I think is going to be really. Oh, uh, but evil wit. Oh, Evil Witch gets taken out. Yeah, Evil Witch almost got in Ethan's uh, blind spot there, but uh, she. Ethan's got watching the Demon. medic. Ethan. Oh, he should have gotten the heavy oh. while well, he had the chance. It's like killing he the bad guy. He opted to wait for the medic. The yeah, movies. he opted to wait for the medic. But... Oh, there comes the. Sp oh, the spy gets spotted as well. The spy uh, scout comes in, throws the mad whale. Oh, gets the heavy dias there. Wow, nice work of the uh, mad milk there. Definitely knows his. Um, like the limits of the Mad Milk, like how much health you can get with the heavy, so that was pretty good. Zoned him out, I believe is the term. Yeah, Nomad's still alive, I don't think he's died so far in this game. 90% Uber, and they're trying to rebuild on third, this is really interesting. No, <laughs> Evil Witch says no. <laughs> I like how uh, a fast mark, he was uh, invisible, and he was holding the Spicicle, and the Pyro hit him with a flare. And it just went, Ksh! so they know he's there. Doesn't have a nice Sound look. effects from GPS. Yeah. Dude, I'm really good at those. Lots of plays down and Nomad's you know on, on his own. It's a sentry. Be me. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on uh, Black Art Gaming TV, <laughs> GPS does impressions of all the classes. Oh, Ethan's right. got a really good spot here, looking in between the, the crates. Oh, dude, yeah, that's so sneaky. Yeah, uh, Evil Witch is down as well, but yeah, too bad uh, <laughs> Ethan found the spot. And he has the, uh, I mean, Enigma's found the spot, and he has a Conjurer too. Oh, he's looking to go around on the flank here. He's going to go up and reload and get a nice couple of rockets off, and then regroup with the rest of his team. Didn't get too much with that. Oh, no, no. no. Okay, it's just Dias. Dias needs to get, like, a good solid 9k here with the Force of Nature, all right? So he got to... It's gotta doable. Do it's doable. Just jump on the point. Bonk. No. There. No. All right. Wow. All right. Um. So. That's a fairly fast time. Yeah. Five, five minutes thirty, 30 is is pretty pretty fast. Yeah. Um. Up until the first point, that standard. Second point, they held it pretty well, and then just the repush when both teams had no Uber. Really like that. I really like it when teams just say, "Well, we've not got an Uber, but they haven't got Uber either." Just went in, and uh. Yeah, great play, great play by the team. DC uh, gonna have to do something special. I mean, wonder if we're gonna see crits or something like that. Well, Explosion's not straight out of the book, but you know, crits does work on payload on um when you're attacking because yeah. if you can take down the NG, you can take down the medic, yeah. then you can pretty much take down the sentries pretty easily. 
so we will see uh, what goes on there. Tippy, a little sneaky trap here. Can't actually, if you if you go, you will actually be able to see them, but if there's distractions, you won't necessarily notice them all that well. Gates are about to open. We got Evil Witch on the side there with the muck. I've been running that all game. It's that extra damage, and the heavy is gonna go out. And uh, yeah, just going with the card here. Oh, double dash oh, from Spatch Mark for Rape Car, and Dia's gone. Like, if you can get the scout, that's gonna delay the card here. And oh, Fatch Mark comes back once again, wasn't dead. Just kidding. And uh, gets taken out eventually. Ethan with a headshot on uh, Evil Witch, no sniper. And we also got the soldier on direct hit duty, and he's gonna go and land some rockets onto this gun here. And we have a pause. But it's not a very long one, I think. I'm just looking at um, Swine here on the right hand side. He's staring right at the sentry, and there is a rocket flying towards the sentry. Um, I think the NG's aware that he's there. He's staring right at him, but the Heavy and the Medic and the Pyro are looking in the totally the other direction. So, um, who knows, if he walks a little, little bit further, he could land a direct hit on that Medic and maybe force the Uber. Yeah, of course he has to reload, but yeah, two rockets on a uh, direct hit on a Medic. Would be pretty good. Well, we have this little pause here. We can also look at the points. Uh, kind of favoring SMG, but they did attack first, so there's also additional cap points, but they're kind of in the same ballpark, I guess. Yeah, it's all looking pretty standard. Um, I would expect Ethan to have been outscoring the other medic. Evil Witch has done some really good sniping with the Machina, but um, it'll be interesting to see what she can do on defense now. Yeah, it looks like, uh, yeah, pause is over and they just retreated back there and the spy actually ran in front of the sentry and got immediately um, wrecked by it. Oh, but but the nice cart is just being pushed. Oh, no. No, it's not. <laughs> Look at the energy, that looks so funny. Just the pistol. Yeah. And they've used the Uber to block it, and the energy's still alive. Oh, Merited gets taken down. Nice headshot there by Ethan killing the heavy. Both the snipers are the mock now this game. It's interesting. They Oh, oh the oh. spy Schmuck. Schmuck, he is all over the place. So it's taken a similar amount of time. Uh, about one minute twenty for the first point. Um maybe less, I'm not sure. Because my HUD hit. He's oh big backstab by Schmuck. That's gonna that's gonna sting. That's gonna sting a lot. Yeah, Schmuck no taking down stand. Nomad. And uh, HUD's finally caught up, yeah. Big drop there. It's gonna hurt the attack and gonna bolster the defense of SMG even more. I like this rogue dispenser here. This is like Yeah, he, oh he even picks it up. Oh that's nice. Yeah, he did the kind of aggressive sentry play. Left the sentry, trying to get some damage, get a couple of kills, and then bring it back. Sentry did go down, but now he's got time to build it because his medic's got um, nearly got Uber, pretty much got Uber, and the other team's not going to have it for a while. But I'm oh, just looking at Swine, he's pushing up with the direct hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this could be scary. Uh, he's not going to be able to get the gun, though. Uh, but he is going to be able to draw some attention to himself. Is there anyone there to help him? Someone's pushing the carts. The NG just. Oh, nice meat shield here cart. by the heavy, actually, standing in front there. Of the center while the gun gets built. That is something we we see more and more. Teams do. Like, especially Fist is still. Oh, but there's oh, the. Conch. Oh, backstab! That it was a drop. Good squeak. A lot of drops this game. Yeah. Um, the yeah, conch no came man. out, but Uber wasn't used. Oh, they have and... an Uber too, and they're looking to go through this window. Yeah, going out here. Oh, the medic serves in. The gun goes down and just clean up crew here. They need to kind of get a bit of a steamroll going on now. Two minutes forty to go, and they need to cap three more points. Oh, G-man there, realizing that twenty-five health isn't enough to take on another heavy. But uh, Ethan with a headshot on the spy there. Fatchmuck going down. Rainy's and... just eating a sandwich around the corner. He's going to try ninja heavy. I wonder if it's going to work. No, he <laughs> decides against it. And he's a little bit of our position right now. So, you know, DC can take advantage. Oh, but Ninja Heavy's still alive. No one's dealt with him. No, he oh, taunts. He knows his <laughs> life is over. Ninja Heavy didn't work out too well. Look at this forward sentry. So we've seen this before. It might work, but it's a bit risky too because he can, can get focused far down. Yeah, down it goes. G-Man kills the sentry there from a distance. Of course, the heavy. Oh, going down immediately to. Oh, defensive contrary once again. Last time this happened, Pipsqueak got stabbed. And uh, Nigma's here in the front. Yeah, Pipsqueak's got Uber again, so. Um, 
this century again is not forward forward but it's kind of more forward than you'd expect it to be um, so maybe they're just trying to stay aggressive and just ward it's them like off one minute thirty too. to go like any flanky stuff going by it will spot but not the spy though assassin ooh gets spotted Uber's come out from DC really aggressive G-Man's gonna try and come round but he's gonna get destroyed there yeah not all that you can do against the vulnerable players Rainy here, just holding the fort, doing a lot of damage there. Oh! He could have probably surfed up there on the high ground. That would have been huge backside from Schmuck taking on Swine. And eventual Enigmas here. Takes down Ethan, dominating him, in fact. It's less than a minute to go, and this is desperation times now for DC. Using a lot of players. Now, I'm not sure if it's possible to cap out uh, one last minute there. We'll see though. It's a last minute ditch uh, effort here, heavy on the cart. It's not times three. Pyro here just air blasts him off the cart. Then, Nomad uh, did get taken down there by uh, by Tippy. Just taking down the with the stickies, just spamming that choke point. It's so hard for you to push up there. And a fat schmuck with more cheeky cheeky backstabs. Yeah, they're just keeping people off the cart here, and I don't think it's possible at this point to cap this. So I guess the first round goes to SMG there. Pretty. Uh, Pretty good stuff from them, I have to say. I think yeah, SMG is going to Once again, this. doing really, getting a lot of points there. Sorry, carry on. No, like uh, SMG, like they, they did. Pre like it was close the first, uh, first game on Lakeside, and then it was kind of like one sided in a process. And this might be one sided here as well. We will see. Like DC, they've had a comeback before, and they might have a comeback again. The round, currently match point for SMG, and DC if they win the round. So. This is going to be interesting. I so. think it's open for, for a back, for a comeback from DC. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. they did so on Lakeside, so we know they've got kind of the mentality to be able to be uh, down, but not out. Um, coming down from 2-0 down on Lakeside. Process, I just think, was a lot of kind of missed opportunities. There were moments where they could have pushed. There were mistakes from individuals that maybe cost them uh, a push here and there. 3 0, you know, it wasn't a roll. 3 0 on process isn't a roll. It's a lot um, easier with the payload because there's just like one objective and it keeps slowly moving and it's like everybody knows their place. It's a lot harder on 5 CP because the objectives actually the points and the enemy players, which can be a lot harder to do. But we see uh, SMG is going to be defending first, EC is going to be attacking. Both medics and running regular Uber. Yep. So, do we have any I see any shenanigans from Jellyfish? We haven't seen any like off the gate shenanigans, which I like to see, like a base jumper demo or Tide Turner. Tide <laughs> we Turner saw that one, yeah. didn't we? Like Tide Turner, a lock and load caber of the century. That is something. So. Yeah, it's just very, very slow at the moment. Stickies have been found on the cart, but um, oh, headshot from Evil Witch. He's taking down two players now. And um, yeah, Ethan's just trying to move up there with his combo, trying to get a get a shot on someone. Oh, oh, but Spice's gonna come in. Yeah, takes down G-Man. Well oh, and the demo. Oh, dude, that and that's for free, right? He stays alive. And uh, yeah, no demo and no heavy is gonna hurt that push. So let's see. Uh Swine here on the dark head, very weak. He's gonna go back and just respawning now. I mean, they haven't kept the card at a steady pace, but they haven't been able to keep as much pressure on the enemy as they'd like to. No, I mean, they haven't really touched the sentry or the NG or the medic, so kind of the suicide wave not really achieved anything. So they're looking to do another suicide wave. The heavy gets taken down by Witch, um, and Jellyfish is on the left, and the medics come out. This is risky from Nomad. Yeah, I mean. You, you can just go and use the Uber. You don't necessarily need to drop the Uber or get the sentry in order to move out. Oh, it was used really, really early from Nomad. And um, Jellyfish comes in, he's oh, going to try and pressure that sentry. Oh, well played. Yeah. That can absolutely work. An early Uber, get all the attention. Spy comes in and saps the gun. Absolutely worth it. Assassin taking oh, out three careful. players there. Pipsqueak gets an Uber saw, and that's 25% extra Uber. And the Nomad died as well, so they're looking good in the Uber advantage. Uh, game there, but uh, they lost the dispenser and the teleporter is still up. I wonder if anyone's gonna take... Oh, it gets spotted immediately. Nope. So, yes. So much forward ground being taken. Evil Witch is on a bit of a roll right now. Oh, Enigma's taking down the sentry and the heavy. Um, well played by him. 
Um, but Witch is just kind of imposing. Oh, there's a sniper on sniper battle here. Oh, and she takes down Ethan. And nobody really wants to push over the hill. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot there except Evil Witch, but uh, she has been bullied out of there. We got uh, Enigmas coming out. And the cart's still moving, though. They haven't caught a lot of ground. Where is the blue team? don't have my outlines. So I can't clearly say. Oh, but there was a backstab. Somebody. A soldier. Let's clean up crew on the cart. Yeah, Enigmas is just controlling that cart. Oh. So much spam in that short, short area. But G-Man's pushed really far forward. He's taken the house. And now Nomad's got the Uber and they're probably going to use him to take down the sentry, but there's some stickies in the window. Yeah, i got to be careful about those. If you Uber and those get detonated, you're going to go flying. Oh, but Enigmas forces the Uber. Well played by him. Whoa! And, oh, whoa! Ear heavy. That's a lot of air time, but they did get the gun. Pyro in the front. That's really nice. Getting a lot of air blasts. Blasting them back. Getting some cart time. Got one and a half times three on that thing. Only times two for the moment. Oh, they're going to be able to block it. Thing is, Nomad stays alive. Oh, but no DS! Oh. Nomad gets the Ubersaw into the face. He's up to 60% now, and they are going to get the cap point by the looks of it. Maybe goes down to a headshot from Ethan. He's looking for more heads to click. Gets the gun as well, and uh, now uh, Rock Motion could be in a bit of a trouble here if. Yeah, Swine, he's also on the dart hit there, so they really want the gun down, so. They need to start taking ground. G-Man and uh, and Jellyfish need to start going, not on the cart, but pushing forward. They've got a massive Uber advantage. They should know this because uh, they got an Ubersaw. Pipsqueak's only at 80% and they've had a, they've used the Uber now. Oh, heavy falls in oh. the pit. <laughs> G-Man fell heavy. off the map. Oh, but the launch from the Pyro. Ubersaw's coming out from Pipsqueak here. Does get taken out. But yeah, that could have gone really bad for the defenders there with that launched Pyro attack. That like, gives me nightmares. Launching Enigmas. He's got fully loaded. He's backed off, decided against it, and it looks like uh, Pipsqueak saying in chat 99%, so not a drop, but very close to being a drop. And Enigmas on the cart! It's not really a drop if you like get four Uber sauce and then you die. This is true, but he was at 80%. Yeah. And uh, I think just was so close to, to getting it, but the cart's been stopped. Um, Enigmas just and uh, the conscious come out, but I don't think they're going to be too tempted to push. No, we also have a scout going on uh, alongside the bottom here. Some while uh, waiting for, I guess, the right moment to strike there. He hasn't been spotted yet. So, uh, here he goes. Uh, gets spotted immediately by a pyro. He's going to run back. Not going to be jump. Yeah, he's going <laughs> to actually get, runs right into Swine. He one shots him. Schmuck jumps off the end as well. Just, uh,. Can't take it, but oh, headshot. Well, not headshot, sorry, body shot from Evil, which takes on Diaz. Assassin's back here trying to bully the uh, sniper as well. Get the, gets the Evil Witch out of scope, though, and that's a nice thing. This is really good from DC, but there's nobody on the cart. They've taken all this ground, and they need to get people to cap, and it shouldn't be um, their medic pushing the cart there. He should be up there with the demo, with the heavy, and they've had to fall back, but this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. 5 minutes 28. And one more point, uh, one more point to go, and they got a bit of a death ball going on. Yeah, Sentry's only level one. Let's see where's Assassin. Oh, he's way in the back. I thought he uh, ran ahead there to, to go and deny the Sentry. Oh, Schmuck takes down Nomad. Well played, and then Enigma follows in, takes down the heavy. Um, it's not going to slow the cart, but it just means no medic, and Pipsqueak is going to be nice, nice and comfortable in the corner with 100% Uber. Yeah, and they're going to have to react to this cart here. Heavy up top. Doing a lot of damage, cleaning up here at Rainy, getting a couple of kills. Cart's still moving forward though. Demo has to spend Sticky's um, getting that thing, and Swine takes on the sentry gun. So no static defense at the moment. So yeah, the Uber was forced there. Rainy got to fairly low health um, just from the sheer pressure from the demo. So Pipsqueak no longer has his Uber, so he's going to be a bit, bit of a disadvantage as long as Nomad stays alive. Um, but they've got to move on the dot. They can't be. They can't be waiting. They need yeah, to use their they're advantage. Just, they're keeping um, prodding at the cart, which is uh, pretty nice. Like just suicide in. If you can get the cart all the way to the end, then that's a good thing. However, it requires a bit more um, commitment to get the last part there. It can get pretty crazy. But they're going to have Uber fairly soon, and they're banking to get this Uber. They're really playing. They're betting a lot on this Uber, doing a lot of work. And uh, they lose a couple of players there. 
medics are not. They should just go with what they have. Because Pipscook's about to have Uber as well, and they keep waiting. Here, go, here we go. Heavy runs in the front. Uses the Uber. And this could be a positional Uber. Oh! Oh, this could be bad. Where's the blue pyro? He's dead. Yeah, that really didn't work out well for them. I think G-Man, like, you could either have chosen to push the card or run around and get to the flank side where the dispenser is and go up there and, like, force people away from this upper area. That's, like, something they could have done. But, uh... Yeah, with the Uber, you either want to take down the sentry, take down the medic, or take ground. They tried to take ground, but, you know, if they brought in the pyro, it would have been good. They could have air-blasted people into the pit. But um, it was just G-Man on it by himself, and he couldn't really push the cart. He needed some assistance from his team, uh, which wasn't really forthcoming. Uh, Enigma um, is combining well with the sentry, and they're doing a lot of work. Swine's also downstairs with the dark heads trying to get the gun. Gun's in uh, probably the most standard spot as the scout falls in the pit. And then the sentry went down from Swine with a dark hit. That thing dies really quickly. It's going to rebuild it immediately. But it doesn't have a dispenser nearby, so it's going to be a bit of a supply run for him. Oh, Pipsqueak's really weak. He's got 100% Uber. Um, he got the sandwich thrown to him. Really well played there. Oh, Jellyfish! Jellyfish! Gets taken down. Oh, he doesn't. He's still alive. Somewhere. Does get taken down by the sentry now. But that was well played by him to force the Uber. Uh, Nomad is going to have a little bit of an advantage, but he's got to use it well. Ethan trying to land the headshot on the medic there. Oh, can't get it. The medic gets away. This is the shot on Evil Witch. It's also... Oh, looking for the medic. Misses. Neither sniper hitting the shots they need to hit right here. Nick Miss is taking down Nomad again. And um, Pips, we got an Uber sword. Wow, just people bleeding here from DC. Only two alive. And uh, Pips, Squeak is going to have a bigger Uber advantage. If he settles back up and he's liking his little corner here by the window. And he's so well protected. He's got his demo watching one door. He's heavy watching stairs. Yeah, there you got the Enigmas just coming up here and using a conch. And he's going to go on the flank here. Runs into the other heavy. So he's going to go for some pressure. <laughs> big a big uh, air blast by Disorder. He gets a reflect on Swine. That's a pretty good uh, considering he's using... Oh, target. rocket launcher! Rocket Kills launcher himself? gets killed what? by his own sentry! That's embarrassing. Now the scout's gonna get the sentry kill. Actually, Jellyfish comes and get it, and Ethan takes on Evil Witch. And yeah, and Ethan's just, just walking onto the cart, and the scout comes in. Diaz takes down one. People on the cart here. This might be... Oh no, there's a lot of people upstairs. Yeah, the Uber was used by uh, SMG first. Oh, Jellyfish pipes one. Gets taken down by his own pipe there. People dying left and right here. And now defending NG is on mini sentry. Scout's on the cart. Just doesn't look back and gets uh, killed by another scout. And, uh, nobody's on the cart at the moment. Uh, they need to take the high ground area though. Exactly, that's just what I was going to say. Um, DC seemed to be pushing an Ubering onto the cart, physically onto the cart, which is kind of pointless because you can't push the cart on your Uber. You need to take the high ground, and even though they're getting the Uber forces early, they're not taking down, they're not taking the high ground and being able to assist their teammates. And it should be your combo pushing. Um, but there is a lot of people on the cart, and it just gets get pushed in. Ten minutes. Really well played there. Forty-seven. Yeah. Long time. Minus the part where the scout actually ran over the ramp and fell down. That wasn't as amazing, <laughs> but works nonetheless. They did get the cap. It was his uh, victory leap into, yeah. the, into the pit. Pipsqueak didn't die very much that round, if at all. Um, I'm not sure. So, See, keeping alive... Is, he had a yeah. lot of good uber sauce, though. To kind of, like, oh, yeah. way up for previous mishaps. I mean, they're not going to be moments of glory, but, you know... Those odd kind of 25% add up. And the pause is over, quickly enough. And now we have a messed up HUD that isn't updated, but it's setup time. And I think the engineer was the one having some troubles, I guess, maybe? Oh no, they just restarted. All right, gonna do it again. Uh, where's the engine? There he is. Oh no, wait. Did I hear that right? Starting in 10 seconds? 
I, I think so, yeah. So, unfortunately, the NG is the one that disconnected, but he's uh, he's building up really his stuff late. now. Yeah. Strange that they didn't restart though, because it was just it happened during setup time. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, assassin getting a nice stab on Enigmus. Um, and they're going to want to strain as much time as they can out of each point. 10 minutes 30 is a long time to, uh, to hold, especially seeing as uh, the first time they only held for 5 minutes 30. So even on this first point, if it's an extra minute or two, then it's going to be worth quite a lot in the end. Massive jump here by Tippy. Didn't get a lot though. Okay, no, it gets taken down eventually, surely? Uh, maybe, yep, eventually by G-Man, who was really far away and just a stray bullet hit him in the side and he got taken out. <laughs> Yeah, the big suicides there. It's nice to see oh, finally someone jumping in. Toasty actually has his gun ready before the attack happens, so... Not oh, great the reflex though. there by Rapecar. Protecting the sentry very well yeah, while the engine's busy. Having some great reflex. You see, he's also just neat shielding it too, so that's a good way to spend your health. Let's see, both medics are running regular medigun. Yep. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Oh, Ethan with headshots. Yeah, he's ringing off a few. Takes down the enemy sniper as well. Um, so, yeah, it's just kind of, like I said, they've they've held for over a minute now on this point, and there's not been very much to say that they're going to be worried about, uh, oh, Pipsqueak taking some damage from the rollers. He's in a very precarious position. He was early. Did get the gun. That's a uh, toasty did go down there. I believe that was a backstab, judging by this ice statue of him. Yeah, and Ethan goes down as well, so no sniper cover. And <laughs> somehow Rocket Launcher is behind and takes the attention of three players. Um, but, oh, this is going to be risky. If they try and hold this point, it could all go wrong for them. Or yeah. it could be risky and work out well. And there's going to be rebuilding here from Toasty. Oh, this is risky. We saw him did do this before, and then he just kind of abandoned it. Yeah, it looks like he's just abandoning Yep, he's going back. And just keep the dispenser there to let his teammates use that for as long as they can to just buy some more time. We've got Swine back here, so actually running the buff banner as well. And he hasn't been spotted. Oh, he sees the medic. One rocket. Oh, two. Oh, Pipsqueak. Didn't take a lot much damage. Didn't get no, it's unfortunate there. He's gonna have a full Uber as well. Nobody isn't healing anyone. He's kind of just staying inside here. Oh, Tippy gets taken out. Nomad watches his friend Jellyfish just get obliterated there. No man needs to start healing because Pipsqueak's already got his yeah. Uber. Um and that's not very good building. They need to need to get this up and there's only a level one sentry. Uber's used by SMG and they're coming in. Lots of damage on the sentry. It gets wrangled, but no, it's gonna get taken down. Oh nice turnaround too. Assassin wasn't able to stab him even. And the cards keep Oh and the Uber through. gets that's really well played. Uber comes out and they're gonna try and block this car. Once same. again, it's probably a wise decision to back off here. Yeah, or else G-Man is going for like a suicide mission to like this, uh, stall the car yeah. as much as they can. In that position, though, he's not really going to do much. He could have tried to get out there. They wouldn't have, they wouldn't have really pushed much with him in a different position. But yeah, I mean, you can hold the third and the last point for much longer. Um, SMG held the last point for five minutes. It's entirely possible that uh, DC can do it as well. Swine's on the gunboat black box. Still moving with Ethan. Oh, Ethan just clicks the head there on the rain. He just literally walked into his crosshair. Evil Witch is looking for the counter snipe. Oh! Gets the uh, sniper there. Ethan, 10 health. Gotta back out of there. Yeah, the sentry for, uh, for DC is further back. Further back. This is a more typical position. Close to the dispenser on the right hand side. It is a level 3, so it's going to be watching. And the Ubers come out from SMG really, really early. Um, they can't reach that sentry. It has been wrangled. Oh, but the spy's going to come in! Didn't get <laughs> he the gets launched in the air. Yeah, that's unfortunate. If he got in the sap, they would have gotten the gun, but they didn't, so. I mean, they did get some ground, but uh, they were playing around that sentry a lot. And they have a dispenser there, too, so. Nobody spent the Uber somewhere. Where is he? Oh, he's, he's yeah, there. They've pushed right forward. They're oh. on the balcony. G Man, though, he's going to get caught out here, surely. Yeah, he goes does down. get shot. But they're still being quite aggressive with their, their heels. Jellyfish trying to spam that choke. That's where the demo man wants to be. But someone needs to be watching that shit house on the left. Um, although he's going to get flanked. And it uh, looks like SMG realized this and they're going to push up. TP in the front there. Just him and some sticks gets taken out mid-air by a headshot from Oh, Ethan. Ethan. 
Ethan, Ethan, Ethan. Well played, taking down Tippy. Their Uber is so close that um, they were going to launch an assault on that sentry very quickly, but with him down, I don't think they will. Scout gets taken up by Evil Witch, and they just got to push the car because it's actually going backwards. Oh, nice turnaround there by uh, Evil Witch. Getting the end of the spy off the NG. Demo in the air, he wants that gun bad. He wants it destroyed, but he can't do it, and he gets taken out. They did get the cap, though, so they do get the forward spawns. That's going to help. And, uh, oh, this gun is taking a lot of damage. And near packs it up. Actually gets flashed by the medic there. They want to keep that alive. But there was something on the side here doing a lot of damage, and that was uh, Enigmas. But he got taken out downstairs. And, yeah, look at this. Already they're taking the upper area. Don't even want to give that to the defenders. It's just exactly here, what DC should have done in the first place. Taken the uh, the upper areas when they're attacking. Although they are trying to get up there to defend. Oh, a Nomad! Oh no! Tippy gets the 3k, takes down Nomad who was at 97%. I believe, I don't know, I just got too excited, I don't know. But that's going to be really, really painful and it's going to be really hard for them to, to fend this point now. Oh. Only four players up. That was some cheeky spy uh, play there. Engineer was far away, risk arranging the gun. Just went for a, a continuous sapper ass and got the gun. And, oh yeah, this is looking scary. Uh, they need to be able to stop this, but there's yeah, they got the sniper up top too. This is still doable. They've got the spawns. They've got some sort of position, but they need to get the right kills and need to get them now. Well, and they, they do they, take down the heavy. Well, that's, they did that's stabilize. The start. Yeah, that's good. They, and they're sticking up the cart, but they need to get the high ground. And they seem to just be holding back again, and that's kind of a mistake. You don't really want to do that. Here comes the blue Uber. Gun is only level one. Nice work by the pyro, though, buying themselves some more time. He goes down. Only a soldier up top. He burns to death. Let's see. And Nicholas takes down the sentry. It was only level one, but he does go down, and the heavy's on the on the cart. But G-Man comes in from behind. He's going to take down the medic. Yes, takes on the medic. Oh, and the, <laughs> the demo. Tippy, and he's going to go. Tippy, Tippy. And that's the game. That's the game. GG, and HLO champions are SMG. Yeah, so congratulations to them. They uh, they earned it. Played really well throughout the season. And won in the end. So yeah, man of the match. Oh, uh, they've... <laughs> wow. I mean, I'm going to have to do man of the, the map, I suppose. First map has got to be Ethan. Second has to be... Uh, is it Fat Schmuck, the spy? This game, it could have gone to so many people. Um, but overall, I think Enigmas has been the most consistent over the three maps. Seems to be always doing so much damage, so many kills. When you've got a soldier like that on your flank, um, I think it's been a big part of why uh, SMG have won this tournament. Yeah. I gotta say, like, other than Enigmas, I have to say both Pyros have been doing great work. They've been really, like, doing what they're supposed to do. And it's really hard for me to distinguish which is the better pyro because it's all about the team and stuff. But I think like both the pyros, Rape Car and Disorder by the Border, have gotten some crazy reflex and done some work they might not necessarily have been credited for uh, this game. So that's what I'm going to say. Anyway, that was the Highlander Open. And uh, thank you guys for watching. See you later.